Hello everyone, and welcome to my Slayer Guide. In this guide I'll be killing Iron Dragons. I'll be killing these in Kuradal's dungeon. Method of attack is melee with protection from melee and piety. To kill these you need some form of dragon fire protection. If you're using super anti-fires you'll need 85 herb law. It's recommended that you have access to Kuradal's dungeon and Dragon Slayer gloves. Iron Dragons are level 189, they have 1650 health, they can hit up to 203, and they drop Dragon Bows all the time, as well as occasionally Dragon Skirt Legs and Visage. To kill these you need a DDS, a Super anti fire Potions, Extreme Attack and Strength Potions, some Prayer Potions, a Pakiak Pouch and Scrolls, or another form of Beast of Burden, a House Tally Tab and a Ring of Slaying. Um, bring with you a Slayer Helmet, a Soul Wars Cape, a Fury Amulet, Chaotic Rapier, a Proselyte Haberk, a Defender, Proselyte Quiz, Barrow's Gloves, Dragon Boots, and Ferocious Ring. This will maximize your prayer bonus. Turn Auto Atelier off for this task. Set your Quick Prayer to Protection from Melee and Piety. And set your familiar preset to special move if you're using the yak, otherwise follower details should be fine. Uh, when you're ready, use the ferocious ring and teleport to uh, the ancient cavern. Uh, if you don't have a ferocious ring, or you don't want to teleport this way, I'll put some alternatives in the description. Um, make your way into Kurudal's dungeon and then uh, make your way to the iron dragons. Uh, if you can, use the shortcut. Uh, this will save a lot of time, otherwise just uh, run through the entire dungeon. Uh, this world was busy, so I hopped worlds and uh, found this one. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, use your potion, uh, preferably before you uh, even come in contact with the Iron Dragons, just in case. But anyway, after that, um, use your potions and special attacks and uh, start killing the Iron Dragons. Um, if you're using a pack yak, you'll want to be banking your um, dragon bones at every opportunity you can. Uh, if you run out of uh, special attack energy for your familiar, uh, just put the dragon bones in the pack yak. Um, if you kill fast enough with this sort of setup, sometimes you will um, run out of familiar special attack, so you won't be able to use its special ability. But for the most part, you'll be able to bank. Um, all of those bones. If you don't have a pack yak, um, regular beast of burdens like tortoise or terror bird are recommended still because even though you'll have to bank, um, you'll save a lot of time because you'll have an extra 12 or 18 um, inventory spaces. So it'll mean you'll be able to prolong your um, trips, which is always good. Um, in this guide, I'm using chaotic rapier. Um, at the moment it is the best weapon to use when uh, killing uh, dragons because of the stab bonus. Um, anyway, here's the rewards from the task. Uh, you'll get some blood runes and the occasional soul runes, uh, some rune items. You have to get a couple ferocious ring drops, but you'll only get these in Kuradal's dungeon. Um, also got an effigy, uh, which is good. And I've got a whole bunch of um, charms, especially green ones, and not to mention uh, one dragon bone for every kill. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was 107 kills, so 107 bones, which is uh, where the most of your um, profit comes from. Comes from those bones. As you can see here, the cost is quite high, really, for a melee task, uh, 140,000. Um, but you, know, you make over 600,000 so really it is worth it spending a little bit more to get really fast kills. But anyway, uh, once you're finished, um, uh, just teleport out.